Apparently, the hits keep coming for, for the MyPillow guy, Mike Lindell. Uh, according to a recent report, the Daily Beast, Lindell recently tried and failed to sell masks to his audience. He was making masks. First, he was trying to give them away. And then he couldn't even give them away. But I'm, I'm, I'm giving away the lead here. Uh, all right, so I'm, I'm burying the lead. Uh, now, back in March of last year, then-President Trump held one of his you know, famous or infamous Rose Garden press conferences. And he announced, of course, that Mike Lindell would be mass-producing MyPillow masks for charity, I guess. So the whole thing is, oh, we're going to make all these masks, and then we're going to send them to, uh, you know, frontline workers, people that need them. Now, unfortunately, that turns out that didn't actually happen, and there was no mass donation of masks. Uh, th that said, he did make them. He made the masks. But they never really went anywhere uh, because he, apparently he had some problems. Uh, according to the publication, Lindell is basically sitting on millions of unused masks, which comes at a cost of $7 million of personal losses. These are masks that he says that he can't give them away. He can't give away and that he wishes he could, quote, burn them all. Burn them all. Weird. It's almost as if making masks for people who don't believe in wearing masks would, uh, wouldn't would turn out. I know. It's real strange. Very strange. It's almost nobody could see this happen. <laughs> Why is it that, that like people think conservatives are better at running businesses? Really, it your political uh, leanings actually don't even matter when it comes to, to running the business. <laughs> Uh, what matters is how well you run the business. That said, political positions can be important. For example, if you, you know, if you offer your employees a, a higher wage, a living wage, uh, then you're actually going to get better, happier employees. Uh, but generally, your own political personal leanings don't really matter as much, especially when it comes to bigger companies. Uh, and so then again, I don't really know how big my pillow actually is. Uh, but apparently not doing too well, not doing too well. Uh, but anyway, the story goes that this was a failed charity effort that Lindell then turned into a failed business venture, which then he, after the failures, turned back into a charity. How bad is this? He, it turns out he actually ref, uh, retrofitted about 75% of his um, pillow machines into masks sewing units. Now, apparently, uh, he did not do a very good job with these and ended up getting uh, caught into a lot of uh, commercial and regulatory roadblocks. So apparently you have to, unlike pillows, you actually have to have some standards here. You need to have standards and how, you know, how the masks are produced, uh, produced and, and what they can actually do. Uh, and so the FDA took a look at what he was making and was not impressed. And eventually the market flooded with masks that were superior to the MyPillow mask. Uh, and so as a result, Lindell first lagged behind and then ended up buying masks from other sources instead of making them and then donating them at a cost of $4 million. He then tried something a little different. He began selling them to the public and promoting the items online and in media appearances. And while Lindell vowed he was not making, trying to make a profit and only sold masks at, at or below the $1.50 cost for production, that's, the only, uh, that's only the most recent discounted rate. The MyPillow website actually once priced him as much as three times that rate. And at a June 2020 radio interview, Lindell marked them up to four dollars each. Again, it didn't work because, well, by fall, he had given up and then was surrounded by the fruits of his failure. Salty. He's so he's so incredibly salty, by the way. Here, here's what he said about the masks. Quote, anyone can have them now. 
I don't care. Mm. Sad. Baby. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.